there could hardly be a more fitting musical backdrop than the Royal Theatre of the New Palace in Potsdam Sun Souci Park. Virtuoso flautist Emmanuel Pau and the Camera Academy Potsdam are performing a flute concerto that was composed by Frederick the Great himself. When a king speaks, it's another language, a different approach to life. He has a different view of existence and the existence of music as such. When you perform a flute concerto by Frederick, you need to bring that attitude into your performance, the royal bearing, the majestic gravitas. A king is never rushed, never passionate, never entirely lets himself go. In the mid-18th century, the cross flute was a new and therefore highly prized solo instrument. Johann Sebastian Bach and his son Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach wrote many works for it. Frederick the Great composed many himself and commissioned others to write more. Emmanuel Pau has now collected some of these on his new double album, The Flute King. Given his international reputation, Emmanuel Pau could be called a flute king himself. Frederick the Great was a virtuoso flute player, but unlike Emmanuel Pau, the Prussian king initially had to pursue his passion in secret, as his father disapproved. Frederick the Great began with flute and music because it was his passion. I can understand that because at age five, I told my parents I want to play the flute, to play the Mozart concerto I'm hearing now. Before that, I had no idea what music or a flute was. It was just something that had to be. Adolf Menzel painted the king playing the flute, capturing the mood of one of Frederick's musical soirees in the Sun Souci Palace. Emmanuel Pau in the Red Room of the New Palace in Potsdam. Frederick, who was the King of Prussia from 1740 until his death in 1786, composed more than 120 works for the flute, but he never published any of his compositions or played them outside his court. He never performed in public. He only played for his guests or in the company of his composers, court musicians and invited guests. He never played for his people, only for his private amusement. Still, he practiced two to four hours a day. For his Flute King project, Emmanuel Pau enlisted the help of British harpsichordist Trevor Pinnock, an esteemed specialist in the music of the period. The two musicians are accompanied by Potsdam's Kammer Academy Orchestra. It's certainly a reverence to Potsdam and to Friedrich. And the fact that they have such good quality meant that they're absolutely the right orchestra to do this. It wouldn't have made sense to go to another orchestra. When there's such a good orchestra in Potsdam, then Obviously, that is the choice. This is really dream team. It's really a dream team. Musicians from the region where this music has its roots, and then Trevor Pinnock is a specialist as well. Today, he plays a similar role on the harpsichord to the one Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach was thought to have played at the court of Frederick the Great. Emmanuel Pau will be performing music fit for a king until the end of March. <laughs> 